Hey, what's going on, y'all? Let me adjust this camera real quick. It's a little grainier than I would like, but we're just going to make it work today. But what's going on, y'all? Sean here, Back to Basics Fitness. And I wanted to talk about a time when I lost really too much weight. Um, I, I lost too much weight. And um, I'm going to detail for you like what I did. Um, and the, here's the thing. I wasn't trying to lose weight, though. I wasn't trying to lose weight. I was doing things purely for like the health benefit and whatnot. And so um, anyhow, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it. So this is maybe 10, 11, 12 years ago, uh, as best as I can estimate. And um, I think it was just me. I, I, I'm not sure if my wife was doing it with me or not, but I was just trying to eat very clean and so you know and, and every now and then my wife and i have done like stuff where we kind of went vegan for a while because i am a big proponent of reducing the amount of meat that we eat because i believe that on average in our society we probably eat more meat than we need to um but anyhow um that's not the subject of this video um we were going vegan temporarily <clears throat> vegan meaning no animal products whatsoever no you know of course no meat no cheese no butter no eggs none of that and um here's what i was doing and i, and I wanted to pull up a um pull up a whiteboard here so i can kind of write this stuff because i know sometimes it's kind of helpful to see things written so give me a second here all right so hopefully you can see that and make sure it's full screen all right so this is what I was doing on the on the food side of things. So for breakfast. Now, remember, I was not and let me let me make I was I was not. Trying. To lose fat, I was not trying. I was I was purely doing this stuff for the health benefit. On the food side of things, for breakfast, I was eating only fresh fruit. Uh oh, fruit. And so when I talk about fresh fruit, I mean like it was like um I get like a bowl that had like um you know um grapes, chopped banana. I might have some pineapple in there. Um I might even put, um, let me see, grapes, banana, pineapple. I can't remember what else I put in there on the fresh fruit side of things, but I might add some walnuts. So that was my breakfast. No grits, no oatmeal, not nothing against that. Again, I was just trying to be as much on the side of plant, fresh plant foods as possible. Okay. No, and again, no eggs, no protein or anything like that. A big bowl of, um, and when I say protein, I mean animal protein, but a big bowl of fresh fruit, like maybe with some some walnuts in there. For lunch, I was eating a huge salad. Now, I'm not, I'm talking about like, you know, I'm talking about not even just like just a plate a big plate of salad. I'm talking about it was a big bowl of salad, a big bowl of salad. Um, because the thing is with salad, you can kind of get full off of it, but then you know it kind of runs through you pretty quickly. But I would eat a huge salad. I'm talking about lettuce, tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, um, all kind of stuff. And then um I had like a I want to say we were doing like some sort of homemade dressing or maybe we we're just kind of drizzling with some olive oil. And um, I honestly can't remember the dressing. I'm not real. I don't make a big deal out of dressing because I don't really believe that most of us are eating so much dressing that it's really causing us to um, gain weight a lot. I mean, the main thing with dressing to me is just what is it made of from a health standpoint? Not, not, not so much from the, from the fat 
game standpoint because again i don't think that most of us eat so much dressing that we keep ourselves from losing weight but i'm talking about a huge salad i wish i had like a bowl or something here in my office so i could show you but i'm talking about a huge salad um i was making and then finally for dinner i was eating um like beans and rice <laughs> Uh oh, I really can't write, y'all. I'm just kind of like um moving too fast, and sometimes this uh, whiteboard is kind of messing up my stuff. And um, a huge salad. All right, so this is how I was eating. So it would be like pinto beans and and brown rice, or uh black eyed peas, brown rice. Whatever. You know, I might even have some hot sauce on the side. Hot sauce is really one of the best condiments, by the way, that you can use. Because it's pretty, most of them are very simple as far as their ingredients. So that was what I was eating. And here's the thing. I was eating till I got, I, so I ate till I got full. Okay. So I wasn't starving myself or anything like that. I was actually eating plenty of food. I was eating plenty of food. Okay. Cause I'm not one who, when I eat, I don't want to just, I'm, I don't, I'm not real big on portion control. I think the big issue is you really have to control your portions when you have to control your portions when you're eating the wrong kind of food. If you're eating like a lot of vegetables and plant foods and stuff like that, you don't really have to control your portions that much. Okay. That's what I was doing on the food side of things. Now, keep in mind, I was not trying to lose fat. Now, what was I doing on the exercise side of things? Now, this is one of the things that I do wish I had done a little bit differently. Um, so I was not, at the time, I was not doing much strength training. This is something that I kind of regret. I wasn't doing much of the calisthenics and stuff that I normally do. I just, I'm not really sure why I wasn't, but I wasn't doing much on, on that side of things. I kind of regret that though, because when, especially when you're eating the way I was eating, let me go back to that. The way that I was eating is was very nutrient dense that means very high in nutrients but very low in calories because again you have to understand a lot of the most nutrient dense foods which are going to be your plant foods are they're very low in calories naturally so even if you eat a whole lot of them you're not going to be dealing with a whole lot of uh you're not going to be dealing with excess calories necessarily again especially if it's a lot of leafy greens and fresh vegetables and fruits in that order okay so when you eat that way, if you, especially if you have a lot of activity and whatnot, you can actually lose some muscle. Um, you can lose muscle and you kind of want to hold on to the muscle you have. Now, a way to hold on to the muscle is by doing strength training, which I wasn't doing. And I know that kind of caused me to lose some level of muscle. This is the exercise I was doing. I was playing a lot of basketball. So it was, I want to say, two, at least two days a week. Two days a week of like at least one and a half hours of basketball. Now, so that means over the week, so that's about three hours of basketball. That's a decent amount of exercise. People recommend that you get one, at least 150 minutes of exercise a um what's that um a week moderate intensity so this right here was at 60 90 so that's 90 90 that's 180 so i was kind of on the lower end but basketball is intense we were playing full court basketball five on five basketball when i first started playing i was getting really tired Okay, and um, but then of course I played it for a while, and so I was getting in really good shape. So 
this is the food this is the food I was consuming this is the exercise that I was doing and so I'm not totally sure of where I was when I started I think around that time I may have been maybe about 170 ish which again um I'm a little higher than that now about I hover about 175 I desire to get about 185 but I got down to one about 155 which is my lightest ever now I do not <laughs> I didn't even really notice it because I was just kind of in the groove I was just doing what I was doing and um but the way I noticed it my wife was like okay you lost too much weight you you, you know you losing too much weight and so I kind of knew I had to change so I um I think I start I kind of went ahead and kind of adjusted my diet back to include some more carb heavy foods and and a little bit more protein in the animal form. Um, and I wasn't going to be doing that stuff I was doing forever anyway. It was just like for a period of time. But I, I lost too much weight. But it was almost effortless. But here's the thing. And let me say, let me write this here. Um, let me scroll down. Give me a second. So I, and let me draw a straight line here. I got used to what I was doing. I got used to how I was eating. Now, there's somebody who's watching this video who's like, man, even though he lost too much weight, I mean, shoot, I wish I had that, that problem, but I don't know if I could eat that way. Here's the thing you got to understand, people. You can get used to anything. You can. That's even how we get used to eating unhealthy. The the thing about eating unhealthy, though, is that it's addictive because of the sugar. And the ice is hyper sweetened and um, hyper processed and whatnot. And so that's what makes it addictive. OK, but your body actually, when you eat a certain way, you get used to that and you kind of start to crave that. You just have to get through that hard, difficult part to do that. There's really no way around it. Now, a lot of folks never get there. Because we think about so much about what we'll lose and we think we can't do it. But you can. You just got to get in there. You got to you gotta be able to feel that feeling like, man, I wish I was eating something else. But you have to understand that you're going to be all right. Okay? I got used to eating the way I was eating. So I didn't even desire chips and all that. So I, the main thing is that I didn't think about it. So you have to understand that will happen for you if you eat this certain kind of way. Okay? And again, like I said, I was not trying to lose weight. I wasn't trying to lose weight. I was focused on my health and getting in some activity that I enjoyed, basketball. That's all that I was doing, period, okay? And so I want you to understand, like, fat loss was not my goal. It was a byproduct. So if you're somebody out there, Oh man, no matter what I do, I can't lose I can't lose the weight. Yes, you can. And I'm I say that with um with compassion. I understand where you're coming from. Um, you know, at least as much as I can understand it and whatnot. But I want you to know you can lose the weight. You can. You can. You just have to figure out what you need to tweak. And I believe if you eat the way that I was eating, um, you have to lose it because it's very, it's very low in calories naturally. Now, you know. There's a lot of stuff out there, you know, shortcuts, this and that. And you have to decide what you're going to do if you like use some of those shortcuts. I'm just telling you, you can do it a natural way. I ate mostly, I ate truly plant-based. I ate nutrient dense, very low in calories naturally. And I only had two days of activity. Now it was intense, but it was two days of activity where I was getting it in for like over an hour. OK, the only thing I would do again is that I would and I don't need this whiteboard anymore, but I would do more on the um on the side of, you know, strength training, because if I had done that, then I probably would have been lean cut, all that kind of stuff. But I don't want to get down to 155 pounds. That's too light for me. I really want to be more so like about 185 and whatnot. But again, I'm talking about 185 lean. I'm not talking about 185 just to get the numbers because I can do that easily if I start eating a lot of junk food. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you a time when I actually lost about too much weight 
in hopes that it can help you kind of understand based on what I did to unintentionally, well, we're not trying to lose weight. Maybe you can get some pointers on what I did so you can kind of see a healthy way to approach weight loss. Let me know what you think. Make sure you share it with somebody. Make sure you like this video. Y'all have a good one. As we get older, it becomes increasingly important to maintain and build muscle. Muscle helps you burn fat, stay mobile, and can contribute to longevity. However, many people have no idea how to work out to build muscle. My mini workout series on Patreon provides you with my body weight mini workout video library. These workouts use little to no equipment, which means that you can do them in the privacy of your own home. They start at beginner level and progress from there to ensure you continue to see results. Every workout is a full body workout, hitting chest, back, legs, and glutes, as well as other muscles in between. Become a patron today and receive access to my series of mini workouts, plus access to a digital copy of my book, Eight Weeks to Transform Your Diet and Your Health. By combining the workouts with healthy diet changes, as outlined in my book, you'll definitely be on your way to weight loss, improved health, and visible results. Join me at patreon.com forward slash Sean B2B Fitness today.